Good evening traders, August 17, 2022. Hope you had a great day trading today. Kind of uh, as OF, of OMC meetings always does, right? A little bit crazy with some uh, moves all over the place. So I have some nice ideas for, for tomorrow and some analysis on the where we are at the moment for the rest of the week. So let's jump to it and see what we got. right again so as you see in the market profile i have here the extended market profile so you can see we open around this area uh, 42.69 and we 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 had a a rally on the a small rally on the at the beginning of the session then we rejected it and came down the important thing that we broke with the overnight lows as well as the lows from uh, the 15 uh, so we we did feel the, all these single prints here obviously after the FOMC meeting <laughs> announcement we started grinding up came all the way up all the way up here again to around uh, 4305 and uh, and then we gave back again so we but we close above the opening uh, level today uh, we are close around uh, 4281 and if, as you can see there's a lot of con congestion here a lot of uh, the previous week high the the close the over obviously right now is the overnight high i don't know if we're gonna stay there the half back of uh, today so there's a lot so i would say that 4282.75 is a very important level to watch tomorrow in for the, for the bulls to see if uh, they want to continue growing on the other side we might see some more liquidation but for that to happen uh, obviously previous day low for today 42.54 level very important because after that we have a lot of single prints here uh, from previous days and gaps so um, we already came back to the balance area of the previous three days so uh, we we also might have some slow day tomorrow and then and a breakout later in the afternoon who knows or could be at the beginning all depends how the global globex uh, session behaves today uh, after euro the london uh, session opens uh, but uh that's where we are uh everything is saving for a for a correction where well, since we have a, a lower low a, a daily lower low comparing to the previous day uh, but uh but we'll see so watching that oil has been very strong uh, take a look at oil in the oil, oil uh, stocks uh, in the, for the rest of the week uh, it's been having some oil futures uh, at the moment are a little bit down minus 0.14 percent but uh, they were strong all day they gave up a little bit at the, at the, the, at the afternoon but oil looks strong and let's go some some tra trade ideas for tomorrow that I think that it will be interesting to watch all right so first one i have chiwi chiwi has uh, uh, an inside candle uh it's been in it's been grinding i mean it did its first uh cycle here retrace and then doing the second one i think that we might have an another small correction here uh or, or not correction a normal retracement from i mean we have one two then it's coming to see the, the third one right in order to, to take the four later so what i was thinking this uh, inside candle break uh, looks uh, interesting in terms of uh, of uh, the the possibility that we might retest this uh uptrend here so look for a break on 47.60 and take a charge towards the previous high previous low i'm sorry which is uh, this area here. So the first target that you're gonna, gonna be looking tomorrow will be around 46.50. And from there, we, we could get probably 
the retest of this uptrend here at uh, 45 48 so we have a couple of dollars there so range on the upside uh, it has a little bit more more range because we have this previous low that made a double top here and this rejection is what is telling me that probably we're gonna have the next uh, the next uh, retracement and and if we take for example our Fibonacci levels here from this low to this high we saw that uh, we see here that the it retraced at the 50% and came came up so right now probably we can see a in the following days the next move which will be from here to here around the 50% around this area so which is exactly where where the trend line is right uh, a little bit up or the 38 to so it makes sense right I mean it's doing the, the retracements either to this level or the 4423 level so that looks uh, interesting also we we have in our stochastics going to the downside and and and, and, and being in in correlation with with my thesis here for the next uh, retracement the next one is a, a coin as you can see coin uh, it has a very tight range as well inside candle uh, we have this pattern here that uh, we have to be also watching for for this trend break or rejection actually we have here a symmetrical triangle in this area or it could be a, a wedge forming here but uh if we break uh the low of the inside candle 84 80 84 67 uh, we have room to 82 16 79 38 and 76 91 those are the three levels that i will suggest to to use as a reference for uh for targets uh to the upside also looks uh, attractive the way that uh, the previous candle is all the way to 95.55 so these are the areas uh, it looks with a tendency of probably breakdown this uh, this uh, 13 EMA but if it if it holds and rejects and breaks the the up uh, the previous high we have a nice range towards uh that 95 55 level so it looks a little bit i think we also we see some decrease in volume at, at, the, at, the, at the same here with some consolidation so it might be it might be i'm leaning a little bit 60 40 to the downside but uh just keep in mind that uh on inside candles it can break either way right next one is hilton Hilton Worldwide Holdings. Uh, we have a, a similar part. I mean, not a similar partner, but also, but also a, a inside candle with a more tighter uh, consolidation here. Uh, this one looks uh, on the other side. This looks uh, strong. I mean, it's been on an uptrend for for some time, and we we had some consolidation the past three four days. Uh, so I think it's uh, it's it's getting ready probably for a possible breakout. Uh, 138.05 it's the trigger uh, with targets at uh, first target will be the previous high 139.13 and then 142.20. We have around three dollars average to range so 130. 7 139 yeah 140.20 I think that is a good uh, possible target target for tomorrow or or by the end of the week then Friday right so Hilton is also a nice other one meta meta yeah uh, this is not an inside candle but it's also interesting a possible breakout it already broke this uptrend on the daily uh, and right now it's testing the 50 MA and the trigger actually is below 173.85 and if we break that one we do have some room to, to the downside here 
17.85 and then 169.50 this one looks uh right now kind of a, a little bit neutral bearish but uh I'm in favor of, of, of a breakdown here because of this uh, uptrend break and confirmation. It's a daily candle, right? And it's already confirmed that it closed below the up the uptrend. So we, we might have some consolidation and then come down or do the next leg down. So Meta, uh, take it in consideration for tomorrow as well. Next one. Uh, P A G S. We do have an inside candle here with uh, 1435 uh, target, aiming uh, 1381. And on the upside, uh, which I think looks more interesting, we have uh, 1490, first target 1537. 1572 and then we have this and 16 average to rain of one dollar so we do have 14 15 60 yeah the 1572 is reachable tomorrow or in this case the 1381 if we break down so pags we have double here uh we have like a double a double top I'm a double bottom, sorry, here uh, on the previous two days. So also volume decreasing and right stochastics already cycling down. So very likely also leading a little bit more bearish here than bullish and looking for those targets. UPST, I love to play this one. Lately has been a little bit slow in range, but uh, it's as you can see, we have had a lot of consolidation. I have here this, uh, what is it? I think it's a, a supply, yeah, it's a demand area that, that it formed here from previous day, from actually from this one. It's a supply area that is about to break the the bottom level here so if it breaks it gives us opportunity to look for uh 31 so the trigger is at 3247 uh, we have an inside candle here also as well we target to 31 and from there we can see 3040 and i think that that will be more or less the range that it could take probably one more 29.98 for tomorrow three three dollars average to rate from the past three ten days so this 31 30 30 46 and 29.98 areas are reachable for tomorrow to the upside uh i see it a little bit more complicated because we have the 50 ma here so it usually rejects every time that um that it hits uh it already cross it here and then reject it the next day so I see it more, more linear more bearish as well in this one because of the resistance that we have here with the 50 MA so UPST another interesting and lastly last for not but not least uh, wafer W and retail has been strong uh, the past days so uh, we have some nice consolidation here we broke yesterday came back today inside candle trigger uh, I would say the 7302 first target uh, 7634 and we have one more range there possible to look for that uh, will be uh, actually we have a kind of a a nice gap here so Gap will be 82.18, let's say half of the gap, 79.34. So 76.34, 79.34, two levels that are ritual for tomorrow. To the downside, we have uh, 65.66 on a break, very tight from 67.32 break. 
and we have all the EMAs here. So I'm leaning uh, bullish also is, has been respecting this uptrend uh, and, and holding the eight EMA for a lo for, for a long time. It rejected it today as well. So looking for an up move, uh, 7302 break, 7634, 7934, 8218. So that is the uh, trade ideas that I have for tomorrow. And uh, Hope you you can take advantage of them. Uh, do do your own due diligence, of course. Once you take the trade, manage it. Take uh, once you st start having some profits. Remember my strategy I use, always use with risk management. Every thirty percent, I take half of my position and move my stops to the previous. So that's what I have for tonight and and for tomorrow guys i uh, hope you had great uh, rest of the night if you like my video don't forget to like it as well my subscribe to my youtube channel and also i have all the information so you can join us to our discord server where we stream live and trade live every day the whole session and hopefully we can see you there Actually, we have a promo that uh, we have some spot left. Uh, if you take the monthly membership, you, then second month is free. So you get two months for one. So if you're interested, please uh, go to the link below. And hopefully we can see you tomorrow there to play these opportunities tomorrow. Thank you very much and have a great night. Adios.